Their love blossomed in the outdoors, rooted in hiking, fishing, golfing, and faith. But lately, that faith has been tested. It's not easy. That's the hard truth of it. It's just not. There was a lot of stuff that we thought it could have been at first, and ultimately, you know, it ended up being the one thing we didn't want it to be. What it was was ALS, a progressive disease that steals your ability to walk, talk, eat, and eventually breathe. The diagnosis is terminal. That was, that was a really hard day. I'd probably say it's probably my toughest day to date. ALS is amyotrophic lateral scler sclerosis, but I also have a living savior, ALS. So I can lean on that and I'm good. That faith has given Travis and Hope Forrester the strength to face their fears and quickly. Travis was only diagnosed last November. When he initially got diagnosed, I went into like, I don't know, fight or flight mode. <laughs> and um, I, I just was like, I want all his dreams to come true. I was like, I don't care what it is, like, whatever you want to do, let's do it. That meant hitting the bucket list hard. The couple went on a family cruise to Alaska, a beach trip to Destin, and then spent three weeks traveling through Europe with Travis's new chair in tow. I'm a big researcher, and so was it easy? <laughs> but was it worth it? Absolutely. As you're breathing fine now. But reality can still hit hard. The disease is progressing quickly, making appointments like this one all the more important. But this was life changing coming here because then you're getting all the information that you didn't even know you needed. This is the Cole Neurology ALS Clinic, University of Tennessee Medical Center. A patient can come here and see doctors, nurses, therapists, social workers, and more, including clinical director, Dr. Randy Trudell. We have the very best therapists here, and the advantage to the patient is they get to see all those people within a couple of hours. And then we come up with a game plan of what do we think is going to help the patient the most. It's a one-stop shop. I mean, imagine if you, you had to go shopping and you had to go get your milk one place and your eggs another place. And, uh, it's all right there. Right now, the clinic is helping about 30 to 40 patients, including Travis, hosting appointments roughly once a month. Just going to your doctor, or to your ALS doctor, is inadequate to address all those needs. So this is a way to get specialists in each of those disciplines available. And the focus is on making ALS a livable disease, treating patient symptoms and offering support until meeting that ultimate goal of finding a cure. One day it's gonna beat me, but until that day, I'm not gonna let it. You just never know, so don't wait. Travel, buy the boat, whatever, you know, just do all the things.